Hello punters, welcome to episode 22 of the Leg Up Australia podcast. Boys, we're back. We're changing a little bit this week, aren't we? Another change up. Another change up. We're going back to our old format uh, where previously we were doing two podcasts. Back to one. Back to one. Halved it twice as good. Twice as good in less time. <laughs> Keeping them guessing. Keeping the punters guessing. Yeah, look, we, uh, we overcommitted. <laughs> we didn't overcommit. I didn't know a newborn was hard. <laughs> it's, it's hard. Newborn babies are hard. Yeah. What if you got something to tell us? Where? No. No you sure. Babies you wouldn't know how no, anyway. No. Uh, <laughs> I, re- tell I us actually this. reckon it'd be quite easy. Oh. The baby. Thing. We just baby lost thing. any female. <laughs> we had that. And those three female listeners yeah, are gone. Yeah. Giving um, birth and like the first twelve months, easy. Yeah. No, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you. I um, apologise. Promise us that when you guys fall pregnant, you announce it on the podcast. I'll announce it on the podcast. That's I great. Can't guarantee that. No, only him. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, oh, I didn't you did, expect you it. Yeah, okay. yeah. Sorry. I'll do it. I got to look in your eyes every time I talk to you, Borgie. <laughs> hey, uh, plenty to talk about. Go the Aussies. Go the Aussies. How hey, good did they go? How good? Hold on, who did you tip? I tipped Aussies. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, no you, you didn't. tipped the Poms. No, you didn't. You did. Take that back. Oh, really? Me and you tipped the Poms. I need to listen I was pretty back. Certain but I, I tipped the Aussies. No, you I the Poms. tipped Australia to win the first test and them to win the whole thing. You did. He so definitely the did. They were only paying 250 by the way. Do you remember who I tipped from Man of the Match, though? Who? Steve Smith. Did he get it? Yeah, he yes, did. Yes, he did. <laughs> Two tons. Hey, Double ton. Thank you, Ladbrokes. $4 for the. Smith or Warner? Oh yeah, Smith we or Warner. We mentioned that. Warner got the opposite yeah, of well, a double ton, minus a hundred. Like he got, yeah, he got out. less than double digits. I reckon he's he's he got gone ten all runs out. in total. He's got no, he didn't, did he? Yeah, he got two and eight. He did get two in the first. I Wait, let me do the math. Twelve. Yeah, ten he's plus right. ten eight minus the carry the two. He got twelve. Sundries. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think he went a little bit too hard in the World Cup. It was quite impressive in the World Cup. But, geez, they were good. Lion finishing them off with the ball. The, the English have got some serious problems at the bat. Lion. Serious problems. And um, Cummins? Cummins went good. Good to see him back. But, yeah, if Siddle, Steve Siddle Smith, killed him. I called Siddle last week, didn't I? I said they, said it was the the, they said it was the best no-wicket innings people have seen. They're None for 28. They're mm. saying the... Um, it's pretty tidy. This is one of the best tests in Australian history. And it was brilliant. That second ton by Steve Smith, oh, I just couldn't go to bed. How does Tim Payne feel, though? Sitting there going, I'm um, probably only captain because he got suspended. And he, he comes out and he's just blowing us away yeah. with, you know, superior batting. Does he Tim Payne kind of feel a little bit... No, he doesn't. No, Tim he's got the team, like, and it's... They had to ch- like. I think it has to be part of the change. You know, Langer comes in, Payne goes captain. We find success again. Like, and you got to remember that this. I mean, we won the first test. That's fantastic, one of five. But we won the Edge Baston test. Mm, it's not ours to win. Nah, that's yeah. the English fortress, and that's what they're saying. If we've cracked Edge Baston, Lords, we, we haven't you know, won there in eighteen years or something. I don't remember yeah. the last. I, no, I it think two thousand. Yeah, I think it's right. Two thousand one. I think it was a long time. But I don't know if that's Edge Baston. Isn't that just winning the no, Ashes no, over there? We haven't won an Edge. I think Baston it was both, and we haven't right, won okay. the Ashes in eighteen years. Or yeah, right. Two thousand one. Yeah, there. I saw the same thing. We've won over the there. Yeah, yeah, we on, hold them currently on English soil. Mm. Yeah. So no, nah, it. We we said the bowling attack would be the uh, the thing that got them. It wasn't. It was our bat. It was our form in the bat. Well, apart from the well, it was one bloke. Well, it was two. There was two central. Two people who got centuries, right? Wade. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Matthew Wade got a century and Steve Smith got two centuries. Um, Did you know... Travis Head, honourable mention, he was really, really good in that middle order as well. Yeah, and Kawaja looked in good nick. Yeah, he needs to come out and show something more. I'd I'm, 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 I reckon he's my selection for top run scorer in the next test. <laughs> that 40... Mine's Steve Smith. <laughs> well, that, that would I'd be... I'd just go off form. Yeah. <laughs> He's, he's really found his... He's got all his runs now. Kawaja's... Nah, don't Kawaja's say that. Don't nick. say that. Steve Smith's got a... We have to... He has to keep going. Don't, yeah, don't jinx us. I'm not jinxing you us, are. but oh, I'm just saying runs. he's probably not going to score 280 runs in the next test. Uh, How many tons will he end up with, Steve Smith? I'm going to say four. You're going to get two more? Four to five. 
Yeah, I, I think five. I think he'll he'll score a ton in three of the next four. So nice. yeah, that's that'll be five. He's I a champion. That's fair. Um, I I mean I'm glad I I had a decent bet on Australia to win the first test, but they were only two fifty. If this was the unwinnable test, mm. she got nine win. bucks. I know. <laughs> Did you know Nathan Lyon is the fourth greatest wicket taker in Australian Test match history. No, I really, didn't know that. and he's about to take over DK Lilly. He, I thought he already took over DK, but no, nah, he's got three all. wickets to get. Oh shit, that's three awesome. wickets to get, so he'll wow. get it over there. But that I didn't know he was no. that good a bowler. Good bowler, like, yeah, he's a good bowler. Good but there was when he first started his career, he was in and out of the side. Yeah, like he, yeah. he couldn't get a like a run in this side every week. But now he's. I, f- I feel like I remember them. there was conversation around his selection for this. Is that right? Was he injured maybe? I don't know. I think he was injured. I think he might have been injured. You know his uncle played Aussie Rules, Gary Lyon, the great Gary Lyon. They named Brisbane Lions after him. They also <laughs> played the <laughs> Just misspelt it. <laughs> Did you know I can bowl a bit of off spin? <laughs> no, I didn't yeah. know that. Does pretty. Is there anyone good. who you've bowled it? To know that you can bowl a bit of off spin. Yeah, I tell you, I'm Who'd you taking get? some off Campo. stumps in my um, him and Campo. My, my That's who to be. Yeah, we used to play in backyard cricket. Should we do some sort of Just like when the video ball. experiment here and see if we can? Who's the best bowler out of oh, the three of us? That'd be good. Yeah, we should have like a little indoor cricket game. The three of us. I bring bring the dogs. I have. You a have to face an over from each of us. I have a cricket bat. Like, yeah, and we'll it's do not a good one. But I have six, a, twelve balls. I got a, I got a oh, that's softball. The person who yeah, gets out the most tennis moves <laughs> with tape on it. Come on, oh, yeah, no, oh, you yeah, can't spin right. a tennis ball with tape on it. Oh, oh, we need I to get can. one of those. Turn. Yeah, you can't. Can. We need to get one of those like little. You remember those? The plastic cricket we'll go balls. Go the nets. We we'll go to the nets. There's nets right behind my place. Rabina, yeah, that's where the dolphins play. Mate. You know the but Gold might, Coast pedigree. Oh, we spoke this. You might not week. want to go there because you might get. Well, it's a bit of a rough area. Oh, yeah. Blake, someone caught people trying to break into Blake's house. Yeah, so if the, the perpetrators are listening to this podcast, don't try to break in because I have nothing valuable in my house. Everything of worth is up in your head. In my mind. Yeah. So they can Intellectual property. Drill into it. And in, uh, you, it. you can do that. In, in, in all the corporate bookmakers' accounts, it's just sitting there. Hey, um, I hope they do break in because your dog would eat them. Oh, she is yeah, very she would vicious. absolutely tear them apart. So. Vicious. Um. Yeah, ashes. How good it was. It it is. I will tell you what. Anyone planning? When did we possibly conceive the baby? Whatever it is, nine months earlier. It's a good thing to have when you've got a newborn and you're up at all hours. Mm. Max has watched a heck of a lot of, a lot of the ashes. Nice. Do you reckon he's going to be a cricketer? Uh, I figured it, I'd set at least ask me the top five of what I wanted him to be the other night, and it was Australian cricket captain was one of them. Well, there's probably I think there's been what, twenty seven of those or something along those lines. I remember one of was it John Maybe. Howard that said yeah. that the Australian cricket captain is no the Prime Minister Probably of Australia is the second most important job. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so yeah, that After Australian cricket, Collingwood yeah. Premiership captain. Um, he's I think he's been playing a bit of contact sport. Yeah, he's got, he's he? got a busted eye, my baby. Oh yeah, yeah. Been playing. Oh, and you nearly gave him uh, oh, good yeah. head injury yesterday. Jesus. What have you done, Borgie? He's Nothing. got a very strong just, neck. Yeah, he just he goes around like a salmon. He which made I don't a know very I'm erratic like movement yesterday, and it was too towards close the, the corner of yeah, our. Yeah. What's the? Like it was the edge. It wasn't the corner, but he was oh, moving was it? at it at pace. Yeah, what's the bench of called? The, the bench top. So he's just like the the rock. Yeah, the you know, stone bench top. Marble. Bench top. You'd have marble. He went <laughs> <laughs> whoever whoever built my kitchen. They had a lot. Of <laughs> we got all the nice stuff in our kitchen. You I told Elise, if you break anything, we're replacing it with the cheaper stuff. So look after it. Hey, um. What? Hang on one sec. Yeah. Before we move on, uh, how did Max go with the line on the the poos? It was unders. He went the we, unders. Oh yeah, we I said the unders. You nice said one. sixteen and a half, and he went sixteen. Good. And I good said he would setting. be over. You said he'd be twenty. Yeah. So I was put like squeezing his little tummy, yeah, all that yeah. kind of stuff. Come on, get one more out. <laughs> get one more out. Because it wasn't. It's nappy changes. They weren't all poos. I mean, most of them are. Yeah, 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 yeah. If he's doing that many poos, that's We're not talking about a better fill up, but um, yeah, but the big fella, he's, uh, geez, he can eat. <laughs> he's on the feed. On the feed? Oh, yeah. He's uh, he's he's going good. He's going to be a big lad. Big boy. Well, I you're a big so. boy. Good on so. you. Big hands. Maybe he'll be, I don't know. 
a linebacker. Yeah. Oh, whatever it is, just make sure. And this is this is a message to you, son, in the future. Whatever it is, make sure it's sport. Make sure it earns a lot of money. And make sure your dad's your manager for eighteen percent. That's gone good. Look at like Yelena Dokic. <laughs> I was talking about Yelena Dockage to the least today. She was in the papers. She was. Lost She's in. Wipe. She lost, lost her weight. I hope the best for her because far out that was a uh, that was an interesting situation. Sixteen-year-old was it Demir? Yeah, yeah. The her sixteen-year-old. Um, <laughs> yeah, he was. He was tennis a prodigy. Absolute yeah, punish. Yeah. And she had this. Uh, it, she was basically abused by her father. Like it's horrific story. So yeah. anyway, but I. All the best to you, Yelena. You're just you're looking good. Did you see? Well, I didn't see. see I didn't She's see lost her, 45 kilos. Mm. What did she turn? Did she get big at one stage? She was big. Yeah, was she a big girl. Yeah, she, you didn't, obviously didn't watch any of the Australian Open coverage. But she was. She's got great insight. She's still playing. No, 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 no. She was one she of the. Get she wouldn't get around the court. Fantastic. No, no, no. Yeah, she's back. You back now? She's looking. She's probably at about a 60, maybe 70 kilos. I'd say less than that. <laughs> got top weight. <laughs> no, no, she, I agree. she's she's thin as anyway. Whatever. That's that's, well, well yeah, done, Yelena, for getting back on the court. Do you reckon when they do the uh, write up for what's involved in this podcast, they'll say the boys talk about Yelena Dockage's weight loss? I hope not. <laughs> I really hope. Hey, uh, big weekend. You, I've been losing sleep with the Ashes and a newborn. You'll be losing sleep now this my weekend, turn. my man. Oh yeah, EPL is back. Boggy ball, round ball, like boggy it was, boy. I suppose because Champions League, like someone oh, like yeah. me going for Spurs, it's just that season just drags on because you, you know, you're watching English football once again. Well done on winning the Champions League. We lost two 0 Oh, the, that's in the right. final, I'm sorry. But that's <laughs> oh hey, my, my bad. Being being in the Champions League finalists has done good things because teams like big players now they want to be at our team. We've signed Ndombele. From Lyon, oh, he's no mate. He he's going to be good, Was and it looks like we've got one? two other potential signings on the cards that are huge French players. Huge, uh, one from Barcelona, Coutinho, and mm. um, well, I'm going to get this wrong, but Dybala, Dybala from Juve. So we you can just us. have we can just have that's my team superstars around the park, which we already kind of do, but. Mate, the ins and outs of English football is a full-time job. Like, it's just wild. They have, like, they I get rid it. of 30, they put 25 on. Like, I can't even imagine. What do you mean 30 yeah. players? Like, that, that's the turnover player turnover. Yeah, for the, trans- for, the, for the January transfer window. Like, some teams, have a look at um, Man City, and they've just, like, they just shed people everywhere. And names I've never heard of, like, so they're playing somewhere. Man for City them, must be doing oh something God. okay because the... Odds for them to win the whole comp is a dollar fifty. Dollar fifty to win, and they're fifty, and they're dollar sixty seven to be on top at Christmas. If you're on top at Christmas, you're typically going to win, unless your name's Liverpool, who are the only team who have done it twice in the last ten or twelve years. Really? So a dollar sixty seven. Oh, he's got to stick it to yeah. Liverpool, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to stick it to them. They beat us in the Champions League, though. We did, we did win the preseason cup, so we won the Audi Cup. Audi is in the car, not the German food. Oh, I thought the thing. food changed. Nope. Audi They're Cup, we won. Either. And that's, we beat Bayern Munich in the oh final. Yeah. We beat Juve. Um, Go Juventus. We got with beat Ronaldo. by Manchester United, but Real Madrid were there. Uh, Inter Milan were there. So all the like top shelf teams were there. We bloody lifted that cup, fellas. Good on your top. So Ndombele joins from Lyon. First thing he does is lift the cup. Bit of silverware. Oh, Welcome. This just happened. Welcome, boy. This just happened. Yeah, like a week ago. Oh. Pre season. Who was the the You're owner fine. who got um, killed in the the helicopter crash last year? Was uh, that last year? No, there was there was, there was, a, was player a player that was coming was over coming for over a signing in his plane crash. Is that what you're talking about? No, right. I'm talking about uh, there was a wasn't there a helicopter leaving, and he was uh, an owner, and yeah, he got he he was in the plane and it blew up on the way out of a. A game or something know. like that? Why you put me on the spot? Like I didn't mean to put you on the spot, but... Well, I, I, <laughs> all he's going to go is, yes. No. <laughs> okay, so that's... If anyone knows about that, write in, please. <laughs> yeah, write into us. Send us Wait a link. Second. Boogie's Googling. I'm, I'm Send finding it. With the Polish girlfriend. Yeah, that's him. That's him. What? So what it was is in he Leicester. doing? Leicester. Oh, it was in Leicester. It was a Leicester city owner. Leicester. No. That was a year after they bloody what, came up was, and won it. 
Yeah, so they played a ga- they played yeah. Yeah. at the home yeah, ground yeah, yeah. and the, the plane the the helicopter was in the middle of the ground and then it took off and it exploded and he died. Bull. The, and the like fans were seeing it walking no. out of the hundred percent. This is true. No, I, this why I have we not heard this? This, on the news. this, this wasn't on the news. It was I would on the have news. Known about I'm this. telling you. Can someone write in? What's our thing? <laughs> I have to use our beer cooler at the Leg Up Australia or at the Leg Up AUS on Twitter. So, is this true? It's I'm not true. believing it. It happened. It was the true. fans there? It was after it was a game. Not long after a game. Far out. They were flying somewhere, and the owner and several people high up in the organisation. So they killed. died. They're all dead. They died. Far out. I didn't know that. Yeah, mate, you've got to keep up on I am big on the European Helicopter news. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Helicopter anything to, news. Anything to bring you Anything news. that blows up. Wasn't that you that brought us the news this morning about the whale watching boat? <laughs> that was me. No, that was Boogie. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> hey, um, have you got a multi for us? What are you for give the EPL. Us, give us oh, a multi oh, for I want to go. There's a, there's a couple of interesting lines first. So, oh, she don't even want to pick them, but people that don't want to bet around Man City and Liverpool, I suppose, or bet outside the top six because the top six is almost set every year. Man um, City, Liverpool, Tottenham, Chelsea, Man United, Arsenal. Arsenal. Is that six? Do you get to six? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so six. Ladbrokes offer all these lines that are like Man City out or Man City and Liverpool out or top three or the best of the new three um, teams that have been promoted. That's quite or cool. You're outside going for one the of top the six. Like it's it's really cool. I'm all over Tottenham. Just get on Tottenham everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Go the Tottenham. Best. Go the Spurs. No, you've got a team. Yeah, I'm picking them in just a moment. Oh, yeah, okay, these guys so we'll, are give our, we'll give our selections. Gonna I'm going to give it teams. who I think is going to win it and then a roughie. Blake's going to do the same. What's this going to be based on? Uh, the market. Guessing. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> So are you actually going to give us a proper bet though, or do you want us? Oh, to I have an EPL multi for for week one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Lay it on us, bro. Now that you're going to yeah. use thing. All right. Give oh. it to us, Borgie. All right. So EPL round one multi. You remember last year we didn't kick off until about round eight. That's because we started the leg up late. Because we just started the yeah, leg up. Yeah, the leg up hadn't started. We're nearly actually. We're nearly oh, yeah. here actually. But we'll, we'll get to that because leg up. we'll have a party. We'll we'll get to that. But so do you remember? Remember how I went last year when we kicked off the EPL multis? Start with a win. You went 17 in a row. You did. You we went like eight weeks in a row Bloody nailed it. No, it's four weeks because I had four selections. So you said 17. Eight. I reckon you went eight. Four t- it was 17 games that we did. Oh, that's right. So I, I had to take a photo of it. So no surprises who, um, who comes up in my first selection. Can we Guess. Guess. Tottenham. Tottenham. So okay. Tottenham play the recently promoted Aston Villa. Aston Villa have played pl- plenty of Premier League, but Tottenham at a dollar thirty at our new home. I like them. Take that one. We should be high as from that preseason cup win, the Audi Cup. Uh, we'll take that one. Next one, I like uh, Man City are playing West Ham. West Ham are at home, but Man City are not going to drop many games at all, and I can't see this being one of them. The very first game of the round is Liverpool versus Norwich. Your Liber- team, Blake. Norwich, Norwich, the Canaries. So Liverpool are at home at Anfield. The Canaries? Is that their, what they are? The Canaries, yeah, your little they're yellow weird birds. Things. Can you tell us what the things are? They're Maybe next week. I said we'll a team before, that. and you said they're called the Baggies. The Baggies. Did Norwich go around in yellow? Uh, one of their strips is, but I think they're green as well. I don't know, might There's be their green canaries. Never so seen a green canary. the um, well, you haven't lived. The Liverpool Norwich <laughs> game will be that for me is a Liverpool to win to nil. There'll be a two, three, or four nil game for oh, sure. They don't. don't, don't that Norwich, they can oh. sneak a goal. <laughs> they didn't hey, concede stri- many goals. What's their good striker's name at Norwich? Ah, uh, oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> you've exposed him now. The last, the last game is the is the um, probably the it's the biggest value one. It's the danger game. I'm taking Bournemouth versus Sheffield United. Sheffield United recently promoted. I following the EPL for about eleven or twelve years now. I've never seen. I don't believe Sheffield in top flight. Bournemouth last year were good at home early. Right. Okay. Uh, Bournemouth. I think that's the Cherries. I think they call them the Cherries. Um, the Cherries. So. I'm going to put some faith in them 
to win at home, that's $2. Yeah, so you add them. So Tottenham are $1.30 to win. Bournemouth, $2 to win against Sheffield United. City, short at $1.27. And Liverpool to win to nil. I think this is good value. $1.67. Five fifty one unboosted boost to just over six bucks. You're beautiful. Get on that, that, and we kick off. Don't forget, it is get a long stint. EPL. We've got thirty eight weeks to get through. Is it true? I don't lie. So you got to get through thirty eight weeks. So let's get round uh, week one What's with a, a big uh, five dollar fifty six dollar win. Eh? The Canaries are favourites to win one of their early games. It ain't going to be against Liverpool. Against Newcastle. I Maybe. thought you had no. a bit of a soft spot for Sheffield United. I got a little soft, soft spot for Sheffield. Yeah. Or Sheffield United or Sheffield Wednesday. Two Sheffield teams. I'm going for the Canaries. Who's the Canaries again? I just Norwich. Uh, Norwich. Norwich. Okay. Norwich. Well, we're liking <laughs> <laughs> so are you liking Norwich to win it? Norwich. To be the uh, top promoted side. Oh, okay. That's yeah. what did we say? That was three twenty or something. Three fifty. Yeah, about three twenty. I think it was. But that's all right. I um, is there like? Can I do like a top? Can I choose a finish top top six finish? This is what I'm going. Okay, listen. Now, why don't you choose a team to when the top finish. six removed? I've got Southampton to make the top ten at three dollars fifty. I'm taking yeah, that. Okay. Yeah, mid table. Go this. Southampton. Yep. They're not much. Tr- they're, they're no Norwich. Mate, they're good. Go to the um, Southampton FC. Oh, why may I have got this? No, Southampton are the Go Saints. The Saints. The Saints. The you Saints. know who the bag is? West Brom. I think West Brom and the bag is. They're gone. West Brom, Rich Albion. Mm. I remember there was like a small co- little computer game. It was called Soccer Manager. And I was always, for some reason, West Brom, Rich Albion. Anyway, I'm liking Southampton to make the top 10. And I'm liking Chelsea. Ugh. To win it, Ooh. yeah, they've had some big signings in the off season. What <laughs> price are Norwich to win it? <laughs> Norwich, Norwich is paying. Be a thousand. Oh, no, th- it's a thousand and one. Oh, sorry, nice. So put three dollars fifty on I'm it. Off gonna, by point I'll, one percent. I'm have twenty dollars on it. Tip it to the camera so if it wins, we can go viral worldwide. Don't forget, in two thousand and more sixteen or seventeen, Leicester got promoted, and they won. won. Yeah. Go the Foxes. All right, heads up. I've done my form for the English Premier League and I've come up with Norwich to win it at $1,001. Okay. All that does is discredit the leg up entirely, <laughs> to be honest. That's all that that's done. <laughs> Just discredits Blake. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah probably. Take no notice of that. Yeah. But <laughs> if uh, EPL tips this year brought to you by Borgie. Keep an eye out for him every single week. But I'm going to be supporting Norwich. Norwich, Norwich, please. Norwich, right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe by round 38, week 38, you'll actually have um, their name down. Do you think Tottenham could win it this year? They're, they're, genuine, they're genuine contenders. Like they're, take out the they heart. Are, yep. They are... They've pulled money out of the purse this year. They've bought top shelf players and there's still potentially some to come. They will... They should compete with Liverpool and City. Yeah, right. Is Gareth Bale... Still there? He hasn't been at um, <laughs> in the APL for probably five years. Yeah, uh, he joined Real Madrid and they boo him. They, they just boo him. him. Why? They, they boo like him. They boo him. They don't like him. They, they're the big on. He used to. He, they're, they're just big they on like the Spanish Welsh. players. Yeah, yeah. So, but we tried to. You know. Anyway, you wanted to get him I'd back. Like to come back, but he's not. Get yeah. him back. We'll try. NRL. Yep. Do you want to keep going? Nah, AFL. AFL. It's your turn, bud. Give yourself a break? Yeah, give me a spell. Give him a break. He's a, he's a very right. excited. Yes. I'm going to really follow it this year. I didn't... Oh, no, i got NFL. I've got enough shit on my plate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do we swear in this podcast? Probably no. not. No. no okay. No we swearing. don't want to swear. It's explicit anyway because it's gambling, so okay. it doesn't matter. You can swear. You can swear if you like, but I'm not going to... I'm going to refrain from swearing. No, you won't. Do your best. You won't. You'll swear. Um, AFL. It's a... Uh, what, what round are we? 21? 21. 21. We've got lots going on in the AFL. Uh, With the big Q clash. We've got the Q clash coming up. Um, there's, there's a few key games. We've only got three rounds left of the AFL and there's a few key games in the next few rounds that will decide certain spots within the ladder. There's a couple of games all this the rounds weekend. Do. 
<laughs> Isn't that what all the games I, do? <laughs> I realise as I said that. But finals. Finals. Okay. finals Someone was time. telling me like between round... This is going to be wrong, but from round six... No, from round 14 to round 20, every team changed on the ladder except for first and last. Wow. Yeah, that was it's quite cool. Um, but yeah, big games this weekend to really firm up the, the bottom end of the top eight. So that yeah. seventh and eighth... Essendon and Adelaide are sitting there at the moment. Um, Bulldogs Western Bulldogs. For a spot. Yeah, they're looking really, Hawks. really good. Um, and Port Adelaide and Freo are even in the mix. Freo beat Geelong last week. That, if you tip that, <laughs> you're a freak. Yeah. That was unbelievable. But we do start on Friday night. We are at University of New South Wales Oval in Canberra. Um, that's a big game to kick off round 21. Uh, supposedly, it's going to be minus one degree. Who's playing? Is that GWS GWS Hawthorne? Hawthorne. Well, that'll suit Hawthorne. <sighs> that temperature. Hey, funny little antidote. Oh. Supposedly, since like 2014, Hawthorne have had a rule that they never wear long sleeves. Do you think anyone will don the long sleeves for the minus one degree clash? Minus one degrees? No, they'll warm up. They'll be fine. That's freezing. It's pretty cold in Western I'd, Sydney too. I'd, Don't worry about that. Yeah, I'd but GWS, GWS play down Canberra, so they know it. But Hawthorne also play in Tasmania, so I think that's what Borg is getting at as well. So, um, The Giants have ground out three tough wins. Collingwood, Port Adelaide, they got by a point. Sydney, they got by two points. Um, they were hitting a bit of a mid-season slump leading into those games, losing to Brisbane and Richmond. Uh they need this to cement their spot in the top four and ensure a week off, you know, prior to the finals. They get the win here. Um, the line's 21 and a half. Do you reckon they... I had, I, my prediction was the line, but I, I changed it about 10 minutes before we went to air. So I'm just taking them at $1.33 as my prediction. And they are going to be in my multi, which I'll tick off yeah. at the end yeah. of this. So good game to kick off Friday night, which... Will also be in our Friday fill up, so keep an eye out for that on the page as well. We've got a whole heap Listeners. of games on Saturday. Oh, that's Is that heaps. the norm? Yeah, yeah there's heaps. no there's no Thursday night games in the yeah, NFL. No. no, they need to bring that in. Well, I just think or a fourth on Sunday. Like, give us a Sunday night. So they got they have games going at the same time. Yeah, which the NRL never does, and usually it's in the same town. Yeah, that's interesting. Why but don't they do that? And they still get the numbers. So I need to talk to someone about we that. We roll straight. Yeah, who? Gil McLaughlin, the AFL CEO. I'll talk to Gil. Saturday afternoon, Collingwood versus the Melbourne Demons at the MCG. Two classic rivals. The Ds have undoubtedly been the biggest disappointment of 2019. I can't remember where I had him. I had him. Firmly in my eight, yeah, they might we have both been top said that the four. D's were going to be. They were back this they year. They have They've been gone terrible. Pus. Dog they shit. are pus. They are. Do- Shit's not a swear word. You said Most you're not going to swear is. like it's ten, like three or four minutes dog ago. Poo. Um, the pies are actually mathematically they're still in the hunt for the top four, uh, which every team wants. They if they achieve this, I think to achieve it, they've got to win every game going forward. They got some tough games, but they need to get this one. Um, Pies pretty poor form. I think they won two of their last five. One of them was against the Suns by mm. seventy points or sixty nine points. Sixty nine points. So, do you reckon there's going to be plenty of goals scored? Uh, I'm looking at the, lo- the what's the weather the over underline of yeah, 147 nah. and a half. Nah, because there's there's this big weather front coming through this weekend. They reckon. Oh, so we're we getting the unders. Might have to go the unders at the 144 and a half. The only thing is that... So, Mason Cox, who's been sitting in their forward line, you know, the big, tall big Texan? O- uh, yeah, yeah, the American, American bloke. America. Him. Um, he's detached his retina in the last game. Oh, it was horrific. How but, did he uh, do that? Uh, just a hit, I Poke think. in the eye. It could have been the gouge. Do you think it had... I don't know. If it, it, a part of it was a detached. So, it was an eye injury, but a part of it was detached. So, he's usually in the forward line and swaps into the second ruck role. So the massive matchup in this game is Max Gorn versus Brody Grundy, the top two, some, two of the best ruckmen I've ever seen. Max Gorn is the number one rated player in the AFL and Brody Grundy, who is 
you know, in career best form. Um, could be a contender for the Brownlow, to be honest with you, which a Ruckman winning a Brownlow. How weird. But he... Uh, Take the Collingwood glasses off, mate. Mate, <laughs> he won't win the Brownlow. <laughs> but look, so someone's got to do that backup ruck and they might take someone from the forward line. So I would just be worried about going the overs or unders. I'd just be staying away from it because there's plenty of other value in this game. Um, the other per- Actually, they could be looking at Jordan Roughhead who's been in great form in the back line. Uh, I just uh, hope he knows what team he's playing for this Rocky. weekend. Did you hear about this two weeks ago? No, what happened? So he copped the footy in the, in the scone. Oh, yeah. Um, one of his fellow players in the back line said, hand passed him the ball and he just dropped it cold and then kicked it away. And he walked over H-I-A. to him and he goes, what are you doing? And he goes, fuck off. Don't talk to me. He said that to his own player. And he's like, mate, you gotta, you got to go off. And he goes, and he st- gave him an almighty spray. Anyway, five or six, remember we've got no runners anymore. So five or six minutes, Brandon Maynard, who was that player that, he told to F off. Yeah, yeah. Came off. He said, you've got to get someone out to Ruffy. He's, uh, I think he's, he might have a head injury. Cast. Anyway, eventually they got Ruffy off. And um, he goes, uh, they're giving me stick in the back line. What the, what's Bevo thinking? What's Bevo thinking? Bevo was the coach <laughs> he had the year before when he played for the Western Bulldogs. <laughs> so he... Actually, thought he was playing. He was gone. He was. That was a bit like Moylan. Did you see Moylan when he got concussed? Yeah, yeah. He in was. NRL? What he did he do? Gone. Uh, he was just like not there. Like he was just look super dazed. Yeah, he was cruising around. He was like there was a ball that they kicked into the end goal, and he like stood over it for so long, and then half tripped over the ball and got oh, lucky that. Oh, did he? Oh, that was the little kick thing. Oh, that was that's part of his. You oh, you think that was? <laughs> I don't that's, reckon it was. I reckon that was clear head. Luck. I thought he was playing for Panthers, but he goes no good. Um, oh, look, this is going to be closer than people think. Um, their bit of value, especially is six versus seventeenth. Um, Pies win dollar forty five. We got a. Quite a few other Saturday games to get through, so I'll kind of, um, I'll jet through them a little bit quicker. I talked about the pies enough. Yeah, I've well, <laughs> run out of time. Yeah, Sorry, <laughs> wrapping up. <laughs> the podcast. Up the podcast <laughs> wrapping <now>. up. <laughs> um, Port Adelaide versus Sydney Swans down Adelaide Oval. Swans coming off five straight losses, which I would love to know the stat the last time they did that. Um, the fact that it's down in Adelaide and this could put Port in the top eight. I think Port with the line here, minus, minus 17 and a half. I know when Swans lost five in a row last, I reckon. When? Last year, start of the season, That's they went right. none they from went six. six. And then they made the finals. Yeah, because no one had done it before. You're right. There you go. True Swans supporter turn, right turn there. Go off. to Swans. Yeah. Turn it off now. Yeah, we don't need to Google that one. <laughs> then we got the, the Q Clash. The Q Clash, uh, third versus 18. The Brisbane Lions are absolutely the flying. Blood buff. This is going to be... The the Suns are the doing, is there a mercy rule? <laughs> the Suns are doing the opposite. Give me the line. Have you got it there? I'm going to guess it'll be 65. 50. 50 and a half. Well yeah. done, Sam. Yeah, it, it'll be... It. This will be tough. The um, Suns have lost 15 in a row. Yeah. That's pretty ordinary. Look, they've actually been quite... There was a bit of a contest in the first quarter last week. They took it to Essendon the week before, but Lions... they, they If this was mid-season... I'd say yeah, well, there might be a bit of competition, but Chris Fagan, the Brisbane Lions coach, will be telling him to put throat, foot on throat, keep form going. It's third, th- three rounds to go. You need a lot of run going into the finals, especially who they've got the next couple of games. But um, yeah, I, I think Lions. I wrote Brisbane by heaps. <laughs> so forty. Fif- what I'd go forty plus. Fifty and a half seems a lot for a like a what's. 40 plus. Rivalry. What's 40 plus? I don't know. I have to look it up. But, uh, oh, don't worry about it then, mate. Uh, yeah, um, 15 and a half is a lot for like rivals. Sometimes. Yeah, but this, this is a manufactured rivalry. Yeah. It really is. Yeah, because the Suns are new to the AFL. Yeah. Um, Saturday Bombers. night. West Bulldogs. Oh, you, did you skip over that? No, 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 no. no, no. no. That's Sorry. right. I, I, as Blake said, there's a few. I was just oh, going to yeah. go Cats versus North Melbourne. Cats bounce back after a poor performance Fremantle last week. Um, 
Essendon, Western Bulldogs. This would be close to game of the round. Um, seventh versus tenth. Bulldogs sitting a game. One win outside of the top eight. Bombers needing a win after being pumped last week by Port Adelaide to stay in the eight. Dogs have won five of the past eight games. Um, I was sitting on the Essendon side up until yesterday or this morning. They named Sard and Guelphie out for the Bombers. Guelphie, who's been a great utility, is out for the rest of the season. So uh, the price hasn't reflected it yet. I think Bulldogs win at a, at $2.00. Um, I haven't got the price for this, but I'd also be probably having a bet on Bontem Pelly 25 plus disposals into Bulldogs win one to 39. That's or a Bulldogs nice bit win. of value. I yeah, like I'll put that up. I'll, I'll put that up on the we'll put that up on the website so you guys can have a look um, as a little sneaky in game multi. Off to Sunday's games. We, St Kilda, St Kilda Fremantle. versus Fremantle. Freo coming off a big win last week. Over the Cats, Saints beaten by Adelaide. Frio, surprisingly, due to their early season form, is still in the hunt, sitting on 36 points. Um, I'm, I think St Kilda get this done. Just I'm betting around the caretaker coaches at the moment. Uh, the fact that Brett Ratton, um, I think he's 2-1 and one since coming on as the caretaker coach, Saints the win dollar sixty seven. So most of the caretaker oh. coach sides are well and truly no chance of making finals. Uh well, St Kilda is sitting seventeenth. Carlton's sitting no, sorry, St Kilda's sitting fourteenth. Carlton's sitting seventeenth, and North Melbourne sixteenth. Carlton sixteenth. What do you got? St St Kilda aren't going to make that. Where's North Melbourne sitting? They sitting like fifteenth. Thirteenth. Thirteenth. Yeah, look, they're playing really good football. Whether this is this whole theory that we talk about, bounce back and loving the coach and fresh faces, fresh ideals. It, yeah, none of them are a chance to to make the eight, but they've uh, they've won us some money in the past couple of weeks. Ooh. They have. Nice are. work, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, Richmond versus Carlton. This would be good. This will actually this be, will be good. good for Richmond because yeah. Richmond, they need this to stay in touch. Yeah, the they they could move into third mm. if very with a good win. win. With a good win, I d- this is well, look it should be. It's just big. It's a big. Mo- it's a big game for Richmond. I reckon because they know they need to win this, and if they do, it starts spelling out how um, whether they get this home final or not, doesn't it? Oh, this is big for them. You're yeah. spot on. Yeah. Carlton have been valiant the past few, past five games, three wins, and I think the other ones are less than a kick. But you're right, Boogie. Richmond are absolutely winding up for a tilt at the flag. They are looking ominous. Uh, very, very dangerous. Carlton are merely in the way of the Tigers this week. They'll come out. I'm taking them at the line minus 32.5. Tigers will just romp straight over them and move on to their bigger games, their last two games of the year against West Coast and Brisbane. So and Tigers it. have got a tough run. Yeah, they need yeah, to yeah. have a real big blitz game. And that probably sorts out who finishes second, third, fourth. There it is. And that's what I was saying poorly at the beginning of this segment about this round is almost sorting out that kind of 7-8 yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. And the next two really sort out mid-table and the last round. Because they only announced round 23 last week. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So that ga- that Sunday game, which is the very last game of the home and away season, Richmond versus Brisbane Ooh. will be huge. That could be Where's two that? and three. MCG. Imagine having it the Gabba. Yeah. I wish they had it the Gabba, but the AFL didn't have the balls to do it. Um, uh, we got one more game. One more. West Coast Adelaide. Big one. Battle of the Birds. Battle of the Birds. You know what they call that one? Yeah, yeah. Spot on. The Birds. The bir- there's heaps of birds in the AFL. Magpies, Eagles, Crows. Well, two Parents. of them are playing in this game. <laughs> the Suns. Cats. Uh, cat, cats hate birds. Um West Coast are flying, six out of seven. Uh, Going to lock in a home qualifying final by finishing top two. Adelaide have been very, very poor. Uh, 
they've notched up wins against the Saints and the Suns, so nothing to really. Mm. I think they fall to here. Struggling. Yeah. Uh, keep an eye out for a clean out. We spoke about it on the page last week. They can't get rid of their coach, otherwise they owe him three million. So they look like they're going to shift Eddie Betts, which I think would be a huge mistake. They need to be looking at their ex captain, current vice, Tex Walker. He might have a bit of a you're off him. Oh, he's a <laughs> Tex. Seriously, I liked Tex that year. I liked him that year too. Yeah. Um, Eagles win. Uh, yeah, they put a bit on him. Um, my multi. Let's do it. Okay, so currently I'm I'm sitting on a losing. So what round season. is this multi? 21. Round twenty one. Twenty one. So we got three rounds. I need to make. We need to make five hundred dollars to have a winning. So, off the premise, a hundred dollars per week. We need to make five hundred dollars in the next three weeks to have a to break even for the season. So you I'm need back one of in. your next three yeah. multis to win uh, yep, pretty much. Yep, yep, yep. So I was planning on going a $4 multi this week and a $4 multi next week. Just absolute guarantees. So we're sitting... If we can make, I'm hoping we're going to win. We're going to be up 500. That'd we're going to nice. get that 500 back and we're going to get up 500. So where is my I'm multi? feeling super confident about yeah, this. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm excited. So I'm starting with Friday night's game. Giants versus Hawthorne, dollar thirty three straight win. Then Saturday, where do you think I'm going? <laughs> Brisbane, <laughs> at pies, the Collingwood. <laughs> uh, come on, Blake. That was a come on, Blake. Pull your head in, you dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I think this is. There's enough. We're looking at a game that's between six. And 17th, and we're still getting around a dollar fifty for the pies. Yeah, it's, it's good. So, to me, that's where we want to be. So, Collingwood, dollar oh, forty four. Sorry. So, Giants dollar thirty three into Collingwood dollar forty four. I'm going to have a look. That line that I tipped minus seventeen and a half. Port Adelaide versus the Sydney Swans on Saturday night down in Adelaide. Dollar ninety. And then over to the Battle of the Birds on Sunday night, West Coast versus Adelaide, dollar twenty six. That gives you four dollars sixty unboosted. That gets us nearly there. Nearly four sixty is nice. Four sixty. I thought 60. you were going to put Richmond in. I thought that you sounded really confident about Richmond blowing. Them I don't know how to bet around it. Um, what are they paying? Richmond in every quarter. Dollar fourteen. Dollar fourteen. Yeah, I, I I'd Richmond in every quarter at every break. Yeah, well, you know what? Let's have a bit of a. Um, I'll do a. Uh, I'll do a value bet as well. Do the value bet. Good on the you. The value mate. bet missed by three points last Oof. time. It was eight ninety. So that's the bet. What do you reckon, fellas? I Is reckon that going to win? If I'm you're confident, I'm confident. It. I'm confident on it. Like I said, just three shorties. Take the line. Three shorties. Take the line. Three shorties. Take the line. We're home. We're home and hose with a thousand dollars in the pocket. Wow, <laughs> that's what I'm hoping for. We end Love up with it. over a thousand after the NFL, so we're still we're we're coming. We're coming for you, bookmakers, you dogs, you dirty dogs, you dirty dog. Actually, we said something about Ladbrokes before about their great market. I think that's got to be the first time I've ever said something nice about a bookie. So good on them for doing it, though. Um, that is round twenty one in the AFL. What round are we in the NF- NRL? 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 21 also 21 as well. How, was that, how have they caught up? Because we have a week round. off with the international round. Yeah, but the round wouldn't change. No, but you caught up. Oh, is that how it works? Yeah. yeah you were one behind. Oh, okay. I thought you guys were. No, yeah. you guys were one behind. Are um, we on NRL? You got yeah, something well, for us? Oh. You got NRL. plenty for us. It's a good round. It's it is, a it is round. actually it is a very a good round. round. There's some some big games back end. Good, Top four close games. Uh it's going to be an absolute cracker. I cannot wait. Even Thursday night game. This oh. is. Do you remember this game? Oh, do I ever? Cowboys Tevita Broncos. Tevita Pengai Junior. It was round two, maybe. Round, round two, yeah. Final. Tevita Pengai had that oh, big. He had, he had twenty minutes where everyone just went, "Holy moly!" Get this bloke Who's in a Blues kid, yeah. jersey, and he's back. He's, he's back playing all right. this game. Yeah. But do you remember that period where, like, they played each other? After that grand final, grand there was final less than six points in it for every game, like for ten a games long or time. something, and it was yeah, one yeah. point games, and they played a couple of. Uh, we spoke about that prior to that game, and then Broncos come out and beat them by fourteen or fifteen or something. I ruined it. Broncos have won 
twice in the last 10 times in Townsville. So they've got a terrible record there. Yep. And Cowboys, they're not. They're a bit hit and miss as well. The they're Cowboys missing going, Thurston. The Cowboys are going no good. But th- yes. Hey, I, Thurston. Hey, Thurston. That's that good, was eh? a great. That was the best video that's ever been posted. I'd that's suggest great. that um, the, the Thurston factor has impacted that stat. Oh, big time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. Big time. He's worth... Eight to twelve points a game, definitely. What do you reckon about Darius Boyd and playing the halves? Do, where do you reckon they should have him at this stage of his career? Uh, I don't know. I really don't know, to Bench. be honest. Yeah, maybe because they Reserves. absolutely got flogged last week. Yeah, they were yeah. no good. They got flogged, uh, and I'm not putting it on Darius, but surely I think Anth- Milford's got to go back in the six. Anthony Milford surely is. The best number six in the team. Yeah, I, I tend to agree. So I, I don't know, like, I don't know whether Milford goes back. Like, at this stage of his career, Darius could be on the wing. I don't know well, whether that's Corey Oates off the yeah. wing. No, but oh, somebody's got to play fullback. So Izarko could play fullback. Darius could slot into that wing spot. Maybe. Milford into the halves. Who That's do you like? Who, who would you take in this? Because I've got on my sheet, I'll take Felt or Oates to score a try any time. I don't. I just, I, too too hard to pick that one. No real interest, but... Th- uh, oh, spoke about it for a long time and not be interested. No, no, <laughs> I don't care about this game. No real Next. interest in having a bet. What do you think about this? Uh, okay. yeah. Maybe the Broncos at the minus one and a half to bounce back. Broncos in the hunt for the eight. In the hunt for the eight, maybe. Broncos are going to make the eight. So. Statement: Broncos are going to make the eight. Well, they have All a good right. enough side. Uh, apparently, a whole heap of their good young players are off contract, and they're trying to sign them. But they uh, they signed Jake Turpin to a three year deal. Yeah, uh, and he's got to show a little bit, and not that <laughs> haircut. Jake, that's a good haircut. It's a terrible haircut. It's better than your haircut. Spends the ask. I don't know about that. <laughs> it's a bit rich getting haircut advice from you. <laughs> My haircut's good. It's actually your very similar quick. to Jake Turpin's. Just not much. Yeah, just. Patchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it yeah. doesn't grow at the back. <laughs> but uh, the rest All of it's right. I'm good. sure you've got plenty to say about this next game. Oh, the Mighty Seagulls versus the Warriors. Line is six and a half. What do you reckon, Boogie? Uh, this one features in my multi, so I'll go in a bit then. What I will say is no Nicarima for the Warriors. Uh, they got absolutely given a lesson last week Italian. against the Raiders. That was Italian. It, I, oh, it doesn't look good. For them, and you would not want to be playing Manly right now. So I'd, I'd that probably gives a little him. hints away where my multi's uh, going to lie. Coruscant's back into the side. They reckon uh, Warriors are after him. Yeah, next he, year. Well, he's going to be he's going to be leaving for sure because Fainu is a star number nine, um, <laughs> and I would prefer him to be in the number nine. But Coruscant came back last week, but. They're doing a nice mix <coughs> between the two at the moment. They're both really good hookers. Coruscant's a good hooker. He played uh, Panthers at the Panthers at one stage, yeah, and he, he won he a grand that's final. That's where he... Uh, at South. I was going to say, not at Panthers, buddy, but... Did he win a grand final at the South? Yeah, I think that's debatable, because no, I'd say Cook would have been there. No, he didn't, no. But he was at South, and then he ended up at Manly. Maybe. Um, but he might what do you end like? up at the what, Warriors. What, where are you going to put your money Seagulls on this Seagulls at the minus six and a half. Okay. What do you like? I'll tell you my multi. Oh, okay. If Friday, the Friday fill up, keep an eye out for that as well, punters, because Seagulls first game, Panthers, Panthers next second game. game. That's it. And that's the uh, the next one on the list, the Panthers Sharks. No Maloney. No Maloney. He did get suspended. Did he? What happened? Uh, was that the... Yeah, that was a trip. Through? He tripped. Oh, his trip. Yeah, that's right. Of he tripped. And he tried to get off at, at the judiciary and it yeah, lasted 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Threw him out. Trip straight forward. He, yeah, he tripped uh, him. He's good for a penalty. I'll give it. Hey, um, but this good. looks bad. This looks really bad for us. Bad for the because Panthers, we, yeah, we we just came out and we just got tipped out of the top eight, yeah. and now we're playing Sharks who hadn't been able to string things together, playing good enough but just couldn't get those wins, and then they come out last week and they they did a job on Souths, didn't they? So uh, it doesn't look good. We got no Maloney. Um, who else are we missing? Kickhouse back into the side. Kickhouse back that boosts us definitely. But we were we would we went back to our old tricks against the dogs last week. Just not stringing sets together, missing opportunities. Naden had a clear run at the ball to score a try and probably tried to do a little bit too much. And 
and fluffed it. Um, I really think that um, this could be the Dragons. Oh, sorry, the Dragons. This could be the Panthers' season here. Yeah, well, they they really need to win this game. No Moylan. Very but surprised you said back. that. I, I, yeah. Mate, I, I go into these things with honesty. I'm trying to get the punters some pocket. I'm not Panthers' glasses like some people with their Collingwood magpies maybe might be. Or oh, you was going to say. Or we, Blake's we're manly. Just <laughs> <laughs> Daily Cherry d- Evans is the yeah, greatest yeah, person yeah. on earth. I'm not that biased. Um, I just Googled. <laughs> yes, you are. Coruscant did win a grand final at South. Yeah, he, you said Panthers. He played, he played um, when Isaac Luke got suspended oh, for Isaac that grand Luke final and he there, came back into the side. So, he has won a grand final. That's, uh, that's I'm just trying to find out, what's the... Was that pre-Cook era? Pre-Cook. Wow. When they won the grand final, yeah. yeah. Uh, what's the run home for Panthers? Sorry, just quickly. Broncos? Not sure, you're telling are me. You, Sharks? Yeah, you yeah sorry, yeah, yeah. Sharks? Got Broncos? They should beat the Broncos. Cowboys. They mm. can beat the Cowboys. Google. Roosters. Tough. Tough one. Knights. Not bad. Yeah. See, if the... Not bad. Not bad. If they... So, if they drop that game... Just... If they win every... If they get four out of the last five... Drop the Roosters five, game. Drop the Roosters game. They'll end up on 28 points, I think. Is that right? So, then they'll... Oh, they're, they're doing it tough because... If they win three of the next f- five games or whatever it is, they only end up on 26. Yeah, but if they win four, 28. That's 28. Yeah, I yeah, said 28. Four. Just oh, it's still, it's, yeah, they play, uh, but by beating Broncos, Knights, and if they beat the Sharks, Sharks that'll help because yeah. they're all around. They're that's in, what I'm saying. Those four teams are in within, or three this, teams within They have four to position. win this game. They have to win this game. That's yeah. it. That's it. If they don't, their season's done, I reckon. I'm, ha- I'm Hanging up my. I don't know. He could get boots. roosters. Oh, this that's a, that makes that game very exciting. Lines yeah. four and a half. Yeah. Uh, Dugan. I don't know. He's been playing pretty good he's footy. He's tries. He's starting to play good footy again. Bronson, Cherry, Sherry, 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 Sherry. How fast is he? The fastest. He has got speed to oh burn. Yeah. He's a very good football player. He'll play Origin. Uh, Shawnee Jays starting to play. Okay, I don't know whether they're too happy with him down the Shire. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what, they're not. <laughs> That's um, the there. What's going on there? Oh, I think they're just not performing. He's just he hasn't. They might have went. You looked really good when you oh, played Sean for Johnson, the Warriors. Sorry, I think you saw like, oh, some yeah. kid called Shawnee Jays. <laughs> Remember when he tweeted me that time, Sean Johnson? <laughs> Did yeah, he? he said, "Leave me alone." <laughs> yeah, I tweeted him once, and he tweeted me back. What did you say? I don't know. Uh, I don't even remember what it was, but it was uh, good story. A Twitter stalker. <laughs> yeah, I stalked him on Twitter anyway. Dragons back. Titans. Let's get into Saturday's. Games. Dragons minus nine and a half. The Titans are <laughs> dwindling down on the bottom of the ladder, but they do get some players back in. Brimson and Arrow are back. That Dye boosts Arrow. them. Yeah. That are you betting them. in this game? Uh, I've got this in my multi. Yeah. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, Brimson back. Ash Taylor's in the side. Did he play last week? Uh. I'm not yes. sure, did he? <laughs> I, don't think I, I didn't get to watch it. I was it. trying to film something and send it to you because he did something that one of the guys in our touch team does. Oh, God. What was it? Oh, no. Yeah, he took the ball, tried to... The slow dummy. The slow dummy once, slow dummy twice, but he didn't didn't grab the other side of the slow dummy on the second time. Oh, and and just spilled it straight oh, away. Yeah. yeah. Mate, I reckon this, this oh. could be nasty. Dragons have been going all right. And the um like they weren't disgraced last week against the Eagles. They're back to Jubilee again against a Titans team that I reckon they're they're not playing for contracts where they should be. They're <coughs> playing as though oh well we're done and dusted and we're going to get the boot anyway. Like Dragons, they've got Dragons are good here. Key outs as much as you said. There's a few back for Titans. No Michael Gordon back there. He retires soon. That'll be it. Surely, yeah, do you reckon someone gone. gives him another year somewhere? No, no, he's he's he announced gone. his retirement. Today oh, did he? Oh, today, okay. Yeah. So he's finished. But AJ Brimson's a really good player. Yeah, Jay, Jay Arrow, there's good ends. Well, who do you both have lost five in a row? Dragons yep. and the Titans. I'm tipping who upset. Who comes back? You're taking the Titans. I'm tipping upset this oh, weekend. Kidding. Off <laughs> your head. I, I just feel it in my plums. I don't know. I think the Dragons will win. Right, we, Looking we forward to there. see how Callum Watkins goes. All right. 
I always like to keep an eye on players that don't have a profile picture on oh. the NRL.com. <laughs> Grey silhouette. Yeah, there's three in the Titans team this week. Yeah. So good luck to Tremaine, Tremaine Spry in the reserves and uh, Sam Stone <laughs> and um, Callum Watkins. <laughs> Go and get them, boys. All right. Uh, <laughs> this is an interesting one. Eels versus Knights. Yeah, it's going to be Knights, a good game. Knights have... You want Knights to lose? Oh, they, I can't believe what the Knights have done. The Knights they have were right there. They were in the four. They were in the six. And they slipped and slipped and slipped. And now they're in tenth. It's all sort of happening since Origin. Yeah. Since yeah. Uh, Pierce had that one game out. Yeah, yeah Pierce played Origin. Uh, and they have fallen down the ladder. Uh, they got Jamie they got Bura, the old yeah. Manly boys, back into the Knights side. He used to be captain of the Knights. I don't know whether he still has any co captains Knights are in the like same that. position, probably a little bit worse than the Panthers here. This is this is them. Well, this we kind of said on last week's podcast that uh, if they if bounce they back and they they're in the fight against Manly, that they're a chance. Yeah. Or they get beat by thirty, then that's their season. So yeah. let's yeah, take and that's the, exactly the, what the happened. Eels minus three and a half. That line's short. I reckon that's a that's that's a good one. Yeah, I like it too. Uh, Doggies showing a bit of fight later in the season against the Tigers. Bloody, well, they did against the Panthers last week, but but I tell you what, these Tigers now they have got a sniff at the eight too. Like they're they're sleepers. They got a bit of they're grit. They're putting they're putting points on on teams. I I, I like the Tigers here. That um, you know what? Scoring Thompson away? at the basket. Scoring Thompson. At the <laughs> Luke Brooks has got to be. Up there with the most underrated halves in the NRL, surely. 100%. Like, he, d- he doesn't... He gets a kind of half mention every year for Origin, but not like a serious mention. I don't know if he's ever going to play Origin, but geez, he's, he's a bloody good player. He's not far he's off him. He's quick he too. He's just a good all-round solid bloke. He's not kind of like this rocks or diamond. He's consistent. He's um, he probably he looks He looks really good when he runs the ball. Uh, Benji Marshall is oh. playing good footy. Farah just one in the clock. Yeah, back. Farah's retiring this year, so uh, they have a good side. My cousin's at the back, Ryan Madison. He's going real good too. Um, plenty good. Uh, I, d- I think the Tigers will win minus four and a half. They they yeah. should get the job done. They're in. Uh, are they in my? Yeah, they're in my multi. We'll get there. Roosters Raiders is an absolute. Cracker! This is what the game, game of the round. The How blockbuster. good is it going to be? I got a little something for you in this one. Something so in terms of ins and outs or big ins and outs. Leilua's in and Kotrick are in for um. Kotrick's the in the centres. Jared we're here at Warrior Hargraves and Ikavalu back for the Roosters. The Roosters do well. They've been patchy. We've got to admit yes. they've been patchy. They'll yep. win by forty. Then they'll. You know they'll win by six against the, uh, you know, or eight had against some bad the losses dragons. The yeah, they've, they've they've been patchy. They don't like GIO. They're not. I think they're none Insurance from company. four. Yeah, really? yeah, they're bad. <laughs> they're none from four, I reckon, down there. I think that's what the stat is. Um, I can't fault the Raiders of late. They've been they've been doing it easy against the team they should do it easy against, and they um and they've been putting it in against the big teams. This is their this is their. First big test, and I think they might have to play Roosters or Rabbitohs or Melbourne next week, and then the other week after, something like that. So, this is the start of it. I reckon they'd be right up for it. We kind of, I, I don't know whether we had this conversation on the podcast or we had it uh, outside the podcast, but we sort of said last week that the Roosters had to win by 50 to be a. Yeah. We uh, said if they're real, they got to really put a score and on. And they did the job. They did the job. They One got the job done. Um, 52. But you have a look at every time they have that big win afterwards. They kind of stumble a little the they next week. They don't go on with the job. But always when there's a side like the Raiders who are knocking on premiership door and then you've got a side like the Roosters or Melbourne who are expected to be there. Yeah. This lift. side, that, the side usually lifts. If, if, if the Raiders were playing the Storm, I'd, I'd say the Storm would get the better of them mm. by about 1 to 12. But I just don't think the Roosters are going as well as they were this time last year. And I think, that being said, the Raiders are absolutely flying and they're going to be right up for this game and it's at home. And I reckon they'll get the job done. This is the game of the round, 100%. And I'll be at a first birthday party, can't watch it. That sucks. Sunday, are they? Will you be watching? Sunday at 8 o'clock. I don't know what I do anymore. What's Max? 
Is Max got a team yet? Is he a rooster? He's a rooster, yeah. yeah. He'll definitely be watching. Yeah. So that's, I think we both agree there. I'm, I, I'm not putting him in my multi, but I like Raiders. I like the Raiders. The Under Outsiders. 12 Raiders. Beautiful. And then on Sunday afternoon, Rabdo Storm. That's going to be a cracker too. Yeah, that, sh- that shouldn't be too Should bad. Be. Welch is out for um, Storm yeah, with ACL. Cool. He's having a yeah, he's been really good. good season. He's been good. And, um, and Burgess somehow... Escape Tell um, me suspension. how that works. Oh, especially you after you see kick out kick get out. done for three, three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah, I, I thought that was a bad tackle. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was a bad. They shot. need to review. They need to review all the suspensions this year and have a look and go, geez, how do we, how do we fix this inconsistency? Because that's horrible. This should be a good game. I like Melbourne here. Maybe oh. not with ease. Melbourne have won twenty five out of thirty. Of their games against the Bunnies. 25 out of 30. That's 83%. That, that is, is a lot. That's, that's, that's big. Uh, I and they struggled last week, the Bunnies. They're good in patches, <coughs> but they're the opposite. Look at Broncos. Oh, sorry, Broncos. The Storm are exactly where you want to be. They put in 80 minutes of you know, good to very good footy, and the Rabbitohs are putting in... 25 minutes of very good footy. They're not going any good at all, the Rabbitohs. Like, compared to, I don't know, r- round eight. Like Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they right were at the start really of the season when you thought that they were a real title contender. You wouldn't say well, that at the moment. At about round eight or around there, we were going, they'll finish top two here. Yeah, they're And they're around about, but gee, they've been... They've been you sc- can't trust them. They've been scraping home. They haven't played a real good side like the Storm... In the form that the Storm are in, uh, I reckon they. This is the sort of game that will be close for sixty-five minutes, and then Storm will score a couple of late tries and win by thirteen plus. Nice one. So I reckon I, I, I'm going Storm thirteen plus. I reckon they'll be. I reckon they'll be in front by about eight with fifteen minutes to go, and then they'll put one or two late one tr- one light late try on them. And they might back it up with another and win by nice one. 14, I reckon. All right. Well, wrapping that up, we'll go into... Give us... The multi. Round 21 NRL multi. Yes. If you haven't if you haven't listened, listen to Blake and my uh, preview on round 21 when we go through all the games. And now I've come up with four selections at over $8 price. This is pretty. This is pretty That's juicy, good. I reckon. You nearly nailed that eight yeah, dollars multi a couple two weeks ago. That was a tough one. So that was para. That was para. So the the first the first game I'm sticking with the the Friday night game. So I'm st- the the Manly Warriors. Warriors have been pretty ordinary of late. The wheels have really fallen off the Warriors. I think maybe five or six rounds ago we were probably talking about them potentially scraping into a seventh or eighth position. Yep. And Manly were really on the up <coughs> then. They were sort of they scraped they got into the eight and they kinda of went, Oh, these guys are going all right here. Manly now, this could be that grand final we watched at Campos place where it was forty zip. Remember that one? I remember. I, bet I you backed do. uh Glenn Stewart to get man in the match and he got it. Nice one. Thirteen dollars. Nice one. BJ. You don't forget that. That was, was that two thousand and nine. Maybe that was a long time. That ago. That was a long while ago. So I I like Manly here minus six and a half. I've I thought I thought maybe do I save here and go Manly four and a half, but dollar ninety at um, Manly at minus six and a half looks good. The Warriors suffer here without Nikarima, um, and that that game against the Raiders they really showed nothing. Whereas Manly just been. Absolutely flying. If they can handle the trip over there, they'll get this and they'll get this good dollar ninety manly. Dollar oh, ninety manly. Nice. Minus, minus, Eagles. minus six and a half. I better Picking check. Up with that, a bit um, of value. I actually had him in my multis minus four and a half. What's the line? A dollar seventy five. Oh, so let's stick with that. Actually, go minus manly four and minus a half. four and a half. Oh, yeah, that four and a half. Okay. Oh, I, what did you say? That dollar seventy five. Dollar seventy five. Apologies for the confusion. The next one is the <laughs> Tigers game. Is that right? Tigers versus the Bulldogs. The Tigers versus the Bulldogs. So Tigers, Tigers off the back of a very nice win last week against the um, the Cowboys. It was, and then they put on twenty eight points. That was supposed to be a close game, and they just absolutely trounced them. They're, they're both sort of fighting for their season. They were both fighting for the season, and. 
one team stood up and the other one folded like a poor mm. wet camping chair cardboard folded like a cheap suit I think you should hang your suits yeah that's a tip um so I, I really like Good the one. the tigers here <laughs> Um, I'm taking some points off them as well. I'm taking the minus four and a half dollar ninety. So that's the start there. The the Bulldogs, yeah, they got a win last week against my Panthers, but it wasn't very convincing. And the the Tigers' wins of late have been good. They've been putting points on. They're scoring four, uh, four or five tries a game and just looking dominant and in control. So quite like that. Panthers weren't there. Tigers will be there. Yeah, yeah, I, I think you're right there. Um, Dragons Titans game. This is a hard one to bet because you've got two teams that have lost five in a row, and one of them's at a dollar thirty odd to beat, and that's Dragons, of course. Dragons last week at Jubilee uh, got done by the Eels, but um, they they showed a bit too. Widdop Widdop is you know such a big step up for them. Makes a huge difference oh, to that side. Yeah, Lomax comes back. That'll be helpful. Um, Corey Norman playing in fullback, where he doesn't look, you know, like a superstar there, but he doesn't look too bad either. Yeah, and it gives him it gives him another kicking option as well, I suppose. And he's always pretty creative, and he's he's you know he's got good hands. It makes um, him run because he's a good ball runner. Yeah, yeah, he's got to run. He he's he is good. He, it's a different fullback player to, you know, a Pappenhausen or something like oh, yeah. that. But or a Jerome Hughes. But um, he's he's going all right there. Where I found a bit of value there is. Dragons half time, dragons full time. That's a dollar sixty seven. I like That's that. Our you don't like that. Do an upset, mate. Oh, calm down. <laughs> and then, and fourth leg, imagine I'm going. If, imagine if Titans do your doing your eight dollar multi after all. Oh, <laughs> that I'll be filthy. Will you? You'll hurt me. Oh, probably. You'll come to blows physically. Uh, last, the last one, the fourth leg is Melbourne Bunnies. I think Melbourne easy money here. Dollar forty eight. Uh, again, Melbourne are humming along nicely. We'd expect them, I suppose, to be at this this end of the season, and they're playing like good things as well. They they put forty on the Broncos at Suncorp last week. Like we spoke yeah. about that being, you know, this is this should be a, a tight game or yeah, at least closer than that. Effect. You thought the bounce back effect? I said no. Storm minus three and a half, and they could have given Broncos thirty. And Thirty and a half. And Storm still cover it. So, um, Storm, Storm are you know obviously the team to beat the most most consistent all year. Uh, Rabbitohs are the exact opposite. They haven't been able yeah. to string eighty minutes together for a long time. We saw that last week with our good in patches against the Sharks. But I'm all over the Storm here at dollar forty eight. So you got Manly at minus four and a half, paying a dollar seventy five. We've got Dragons half time, Dragons full time, dollar sixty seven. Tigers minus four and a half a dollar ninety. Then Melbourne the win, a dollar forty eight, eight dollars twenty two unboosted. Nice work, Boogie. I, I, I like that. I quite the, like, like that. Oh, you know, if if Manly travel well, I like that Tigers too. do what they're doing. Dragons pull their finger out. That should be easy money. Sam's just gonna have that multi, but he's gonna switch, <laughs> switch one one team around. He's gonna I'll put the what, Gold Coast Titans in three twenty. The win. You're you're just the win. You're just the win, not even at the line. You're no, kidding no, yourself. No, just the win. Oh. All right. You're too good. He's paying. I really hope I'm that. wrong. Actually, <laughs> oh, I want. We need a good win in the in either of the codes at the moment. We've got three codes running at the moment: AFL, NRL, and EPL. So, EPL's hopefully back. Hopefully, we can find a winner across that. So yes, we'll get um, there. Beautiful. Thanks, Borgie. No problem. Thanks, Borgie. You are so good at that. What's that? Talking. The NRL preview. <laughs> I get some help. No, good work for you. I think oh, uh, wish I got I'm help. excited. Wish I got we help. helped you. you. Yeah, thanks, I guys. read in the Daily Telegraph today. You told me two things that you wanted to bring up in the AFL and you didn't mention either of them. No, because you, <laughs> he doesn't stop talking. He doesn't take a breath. He's a bit of a chatterbox. <laughs> <laughs> Says Borgie just spoke for I'll, 26 minutes. I just wore no, out the thing on <laughs> yeah. my microphone. Dripping with sweat. Oh, so it's about the racing, BJ. Let's move. Let's move yeah, on. Yeah, actually, in saying that, Borg and I have taken a beep of time, so if you can just wrap I'll it up, zip yeah. through this racing. Well, we are getting uh, towards the end of the podcast, and I'm, I've only got three races to talk about. Beautiful. So Make give them snappy. to me. <laughs> There's three black Make type it There's three black you've type races. You've also got to give us a bankroller bet because yeah, Borg won it last week. I've got her. 
Yeah, the Ooh. Borg. Give you a little... Uh, oh, it could be a female horse. Oh. It could be a female horse. A horse. Or it could be a female filly. swimmer or okay. anything, you know. You, you wouldn't know. Let's Hope start with these races you've got. got <laughs> all Just hurry up, Blake. <laughs> We're running out of time. <laughs> we've got all the good horses back. We've got the spring in the air. Group racing mm. back. How good. We've got the Group 2 Missile Stakes at Rose Hill. And then we've got the listed Rosebud for the three-year-olds. Rosebud is a cracking field. Not so not so the Missile Stakes. They only accepted five runners. Jeez. Uh, and then at Flemington, we got the Group 3 Ori Star. But we're going to start at Rose Hill. Uh, the Group 2 Missile Stakes, there is a very much short-priced favourite here. Race number? Race 4. Alize is Ooh. very short. She's $1.50. Uh, I know a few people that like an Alize. A little Alize lemonade. What's Alize lemonade? Alize is an alcoholic beverage. Yeah. It's, delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. We actually don't have any al- alcoholic beverages in this place tonight. We've been drinking water. Uh, We've got to get so a carton awesome. of beers. I actually hate the podcast tonight. So that's why we're not loose. <laughs> it's your turn to get beers too, I reckon. No, nah, I paid last week. You for beers? You. you. But that's okay. Boy, you'll get them next now, it just goes into the slot with the dinner, okay. remember? I you wouldn't that. know. So we've got five horses you accepted. Never, anyway, we'll get on this later. You'll we've got be five doing horses accepted for the missile beers. stakes. <laughs> I've homebrewed before, actually. <laughs> don't Please want, don't. We don't want it. We don't Please want don't. It. We'll take the Stone Woods Pacific Hours. Mate, I get Please. Uh, yeah, f- only five runners accepted for the missile stakes, which is a bit what, disappointing. What, what's going uh, on there? Why would that happen? I don't know. Uh... It pays down to 10th. So where's one of your Mornay. horses? You could have run Mornay's Mornay. out. Four months. What happened? Uh, we got well, a, uh, we we'll got a little about. stress. That's a shame. Stressy, but so. you, you, could, you could run Ernie, your dog, and if he run, <laughs> if he run 60, you'd get $4,000. <laughs> Imagine. That'd be nice. Is that true? Yeah, 6 is 4000 10th is 3500 We could run Ernie with Max on his back. Yeah. That'd be dangerous. That'd be a bit if dangerous. If you're listening to this and got a horse that you can nominate real quickly for Saturday, get no, you in. can't. Acceptances oh. are out. We've oh. got five runners. Well, you can't. Uh, Sorry, Blake ruined it for you. Sorry, Blake. Vega Days, he is a pretty good new season four-year-old. Uh, like, But he was just going through his classes last preparation. But he did end it with... Um, uh, like, he, he ran in the Randwick Guineas and run fifth to the Autumn Sun. But he did run second to the Autumn Sun. Do you remember that day that... Like the autumn sun come from nowhere, and he got the cash like right down the outside. He, be- he beat Vega Days home that day, and that was in the Group Two Hobartville. So that he is a really nice horse, uh, but down the bottom, Invincible Gem. She won this race in 2017, and she had a good preparation last preparation. But it was moreover, as she's sort of starting to get a bit older, uh, she's getting stretched out a little bit more, um, and her first up effort. Last preparation wasn't her best one. She improved off that and had a good campaign. So she's she's a good mare, but this mare, Alizé, they're talking Everest about her, that she could mm. take the the, uh, the Dali slot over right. Osborne Bulls if she comes out and wins nice and easy this missile stakes. Her first two starts last preparation, she won the Group 2 Expressway, and she came from the back of the field. They were home in 34-38. So she is, she would have run low 30s for low 33s for her last 600 metres. And she absolutely done it with a head on her chest. And then she went to Melbourne and she won the Group two group 1 Futurity Stakes over 1,400 metres at Caulfield, beating Malaguira and Hartnell. Uh, she started favourite in the All-Star Mile. Uh, but I think they're going to train her to be a sprinter this preparation. Then They probably won't stretch her out to a mile. Um, because of that Everest, Everest. I think. I think Why would you go there? Oh, that's right, the $10 million prize money. I think it's worth 12 I think so we got this 13. wrong last week. No, we were talking about the All-Star Mile. Oh, was that was, you said 20. Mr. Consistent. That's right. Hey, uh, important gear change for Alizé this week. What, what is it? Oh, they removed the synthetic. Filler you know, off. I told you. That's good. That's the form. Hoof filler off. You because like that the hoof mean, filler on. Yeah, but it's better when it comes off. So I like it in and then out. And then they pull it out and there's like a scoop and they dig into the ground more. Okay. Well, trust me. Sh- Tr- trust me. Alizé to win. <laughs> <laughs> At a dollar thirty-five. She's a dollar dollar fifty-five. Oh, I, that was just a pun then, but <laughs> yeah, there you go. A yeah, dollar fifty-five, and I'm gonna tell you, 
that's value. Is that your tip? Is wow. It? That's value. Dollar Better than 54. bank interest. Better oh. than bank interest. Is that the bankroll? No, we'll talk about that later. Oh, uh, sorry, and then guys. We'll give away all your secrets. The, the other black is, type race. It? The other black type <laughs> race at Rose Hill on Saturday is the Rose Bar. This is one of the lead ups to the Golden Rose uh, for the three year olds. I know I like to keep on track here. No. I played in a soccer team called the Rosebuds. How cute. Isn't that the worst name you've ever heard? No, it's not. Rosebuds are cute. How's that scaring anyone? It's like the that other the football side you played in, the Fairfield Fairies. That was a fake story, but that was a <laughs> real story. No. <laughs> anyway, I just sort of <laughs> mentioned that. So, sorry, the Rosebud sounds like a tough race. It's a good race. There's plenty of really good horses in this. Um, so we have horses like Anna Heed. She ran sixth in the Golden Slipper, and then she came out and won the Group Two Percy Sykes Stakes. Dawn Passage. Uh, she was an early favourite for the mm. Golden Slipper. She this is a three-year-old race. Yeah, it's a three-year-old race. Yeah, okay. um, newly three. Newly three-year-old. So horses. last season, two-year-olds. Uh, she ran third in the Millennium, which is that two million dollar English race at at Warwick Farm. Uh, she was early favourite, like right in the market for the Golden Slipper, but she must have went and miss, and she went out. She's come back. She's trialled really well. And then you got a horse like a Theory. Uh, she was competitive in all those good two-year-old races. Let It Pour is one that I'm really interested in. Bjorn Baker, Brenton Avdala. Uh, she's had one race start and she ran third to Anna Heed in the Group 2 Sweet Embrace Stakes. She gets a 7-kilo wow. weight swing wow. on Anna Heed for a 2.1 length beaten margin. And that was her first race start, and she sort of wanted to race mm-hmm. it. Like, she was really green. She's been back to the trials. They gave her a really strong hit out in her last trial, um, which is good, suggests that she's ready to go. Let's see what Burn has to say about her. There's about 10 to 1 about her, so I'm really interested in here. Lucha Cello, uh, she has been racing... Like, a, a lot of these horses are first up. So, she's got a, uh, a fitness edge on many of them, and she's been reeling off some really good late sectionals. Down to Cardiff, this horse, uh, one of Aquas Farms, he trialed super, and the, trial, the, the times were really good in the trial. Uh, he's going to go forward, make his own luck. He's going to be hard to beat. I am interested in two horses in this race. I'll probably back Let It Pour. Um, so that's race five, number four, let it pour, and I will be having something on number seven, Cardiff as well, both at about 10 or 11 to one. I reckon they're both really good bets. I'm, I'm really interested in let it pour because he is, uh, she is a good horse in the making. I like Cardiff, resumes after a spell of 18 weeks, genuine early speed, maybe caught late. I, I like it. 1100. Uh, that's a slight question about him, but he can run some sectionals. He's uh, uh he's going to be a nice sprinter one day. Okay. Let's head over to Flemington. Give us, uh, what do we got? The It's the Group 3 Ori Star. It's down the straight, 1200 metres. Oof. Oof. Okay. What do you like? Um, it's a real horses for courses race. This um, oh yeah, this straight <laughs> racing, straight racing at Flemington. You Did you see the straight racing at the Dogs the other night? No, I did not. Yeah, they're doing a straight race, three hundred meter race at, uh, somewhere at the Dogs. Really? Yeah, it's hard to watch, to be honest with well, you. Well, I don't know too much about the Dogs, but um, Flemington twelve hundred meters. Some horses love it. Some horses don't. This is um, a big race. So yeah, plenty of runners. Um, it's worth. 160,000 from really nice sprinters in this race. Uh, Down the bottom, I was really interested in this horse called Antar. Yep. He won really nicely at Bendigo. He's really lightly raced. He's a seven year old. He's had 15 starts, seven wins. Uh, But he's never been at this track and distance. And and I wanted to stick with a horse that that had been at the track and distance uh, and performed well and I think that horse is number seven Milwaukee there's about six dollars fifty about Mil- this horse Damien Oliver is in the saddle he's had five starts over this track and distance for three wins two seconds he cruised up to him in the all Vic sprint uh, Oliver was in the saddle Malibu style got up on the fence and, and sort of beat him home uh, but this horse can improve on that effort. He gets a weight swing on Malibu style for that. 
Um, and I just think that is really good value. There's another few other good horses in the race, like Caesar. I couldn't back him with Sam, your money, or Borg, your money. Uh, he's favourite. But he went awful at Corfu. Well, I could not I could not back him after that Group 3 Bletchingly Stakes run. Iconoclasm, I've, Iconoclasm, I've backed that horse before. Um, he's very dangerous, fresh. He, that was a really good win in the... Uh, Vobus Gold Sprint at Caulfield, first up, last preparation. And then there's a horse like Sosi Bon. Uh, he's got Group 1 weight for age f- form. Um, not sure about 1,200 metres at Flemington, but uh, there's a little bit of value about him. And the best horse <coughs> in the race is probably Uhud. Uh, she ran third in the Group 1 Caulfield Guineas behind the Autumn Sun La. Two preparations ago. Last preparation, she didn't really come up. I haven't seen any... There hasn't been any public trials for her, so I don't really know how You're she's keep going. keep it under wraps? But if there's money... If they truckload the money for her, she'll win. She's, watch the market. She's... Just watch eye. the market Ooh, for her. Would. But uh, if you want to back Milwaukee each way, uh, race eight, number seven, Milwaukee, Milwaukee will run a place. He'll, he'll be right in the finish. Beautiful. I like it. But that's it from me? No, it's not. No. What's good what else? trying to get out of it? Bank what a roller. dog. Bank roller. Let's do it. So last week I was troubled with the bank roller bet. I came home like a absolute champion, which is true to form. You were uh, you were kind of tossing up a little bit last week, and I think one of them was the Panthers. Mm. So Stayed away. Well done. Smart. Mm, How smart. much have I got? You have, sir, one hundred and fifty-four dollars and twenty-eight cents. Okay, well let's are do this. Clams or anything this week? No, bro. No, this is explicit. This, this is, is money. fucking cash. <laughs> this is cold hard cash. <laughs> right. This is cash. No, you you said it. You said the f word. Oh, uh, did I did already say. Yeah, it. yeah. So this is an explicit podcast now. It always I, was with the betting, and someone said my shit, shit earlier. I said shit, but you said f. That's it. <laughs> what have like, I done wrong? You I arrived. <laughs> yeah, sure. I attended. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but uh, well, I, I've got this. I've got this. I'm turning that. Hold on. Let, just remember, your form is poor. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get a calculator on that? Um, because you're oh, the no, only one it. that's lost the bank roller. Not this time, bro. Oh. We'll there you go. 154.28. You're in. 154.28 times a dollar fifty. I'm going to end up with $231.42 because I am having it all on race four, number four, Alizé. Okay. I knew you would. That's it. (laughs) Too good. She'll be too good for them. She'll just win. All right. Final thing to get through is the clam bet. Boys. The exclusive podcast bet that we put out. Three-leg multi, one selection each. I'll start. We got that big one early on. Hey, we you, haven't nailed one for a while. You, are you, gonna, you, you go first because I want to know what you're tipping because then I need to either, if I need to add value or I don't. Well, let us down last week. What did we go last week? Does anyone recall? Well, I got oh, my, my Friday fill-ups and my clams, I reckon I'm going all right. I just can't string together a bloody multi. You're going good. I'm struggling. You're off. Mm-hmm. That's I'm right. struggling. So this week I'm bouncing back. I am taking my bankroller bet, my absolute moral How race four that? in the missile stakes. Alize at a dollar fifty. She will okay. just so win. I will go for a little bit of value. Value, my, value. Yeah, you're gonna have to get some value too, Borgie. Okay. So we can give the punters the value one. Give the punters something. I'm gonna go with that Saturday night game, Port Adelaide. Versus Sydney Swans in Adelaide. Port, get back in touch with the eight. Swannies, uh, I think their losing streak will continue. Port Adelaide minus 17.5 at a dollar ninety. So what, what sort of numbers is the one? Dollar ninety is fine. Give $1. us a dollar ninety. I'll take Tigers minus to start. Tigers minus four and a half. That's good. I reckon oh. that's, I reckon this is I'm liking get them. It. I'm liking the Tigers at the moment. You know what gets them over the line here? The fact that they've just creeped into the eight. Robbie Farah's there going, come on, boys, let's do it. Do it for me. Do it. Do it for me. Then he brings out the drums. Remember when he was playing the drums when he was captain of the Lebanese? He was, yeah, he's in Blink-182. Come on, bro. Travis Barker. What price we got, bro? 
$5.41. That's enough. I'm happy with that. Put your house on it. No. Put your solar panels on it. Put, put your solar panels on it. I still got to pay for them, but well, just put an amount put of money half, on them. Hold on. That, no, Let's put good. half the solar panel uh, money uh, on uh, this, uh, and yeah. then you can, it's easy. It's money. And then or you can pay for my ducted aircon too with that. If you could. Pay and put one fifth of it on there, and then it's paid for. Exactly right. Thank That's you. That's right. There you go. Do that. Thanks, guys. We're wrapping up. <laughs> <laughs> Please wrap Thank up. you, guys. I hope you've all enjoyed going back to the old format, episode 22, pumping them out. Two ducks in a pond. Two ducks in a pond. You've been waiting That's for this you one. Two. And then I'm... 22 is my lucky number, and Max was born on the 22nd. This could be the best podcast we'll we've ever done. We'll get the clam bet. I'll get my multi. I'll get you my get EPL, EPL multi. You get the AFL. AFL. Yours are going to keep going up the shit, but... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, unfortunately. <laughs> You're just having a bad run. No, I've been someone flying. Running into, someone breaking into your house. Uh, yeah, bad hair run. Thing. Bad run. I've got the bad hair. <laughs> <laughs> I've left all my best gear to Yeah, what are you doing? Everyone will if listen to the end now. If around to an hour yeah. ten, Thanks. you're we, we were meant, Weren't we meant to come up with a nickname for people that make it to the end of the podcast? Okay, so Borgie's Stayers. actually lost it. The Stayers. Stayers. The Stayers. Borgie, you the are laughing Stayers. at your own jokes. Like oh, hilariously. When they're well, good, they're good. Happens. It's not all that funny though. Well, they're <laughs> not <you>. bad. <laughs> good jokes. <laughs> we, we're boring the punters. Sorry, Can punters. Please wrap it up. We got some winners for you this weekend. So st- thank you for following us on this journey. Say goodbye, boy. See you, punters. Good luck and enjoy the EPL. EPL kicks off. Good luck. Rate and review. <laughs> <laughs>